one more report here, and I don't know how well this is going to show, but let's go. Let's try this. In our templates, from a sales management standpoint, I think it's really useful to do a report that shows last activity. I can't even remember what it's called, but uh, that doesn't matter because if I put just the word last in here and search for the template, here's all my reports that have last things in them. I'm interested in my last completed call or last completed appointment or call. That might even be more interesting. So if I'm looking at my overall database of prospects and I want to show them just according to the last time we completed an appointment or call to them, what's that going to tell me? That's going to actually give me very clearly and starkly on the page here a way of looking at my database of prospects in terms of when they were last dealt with and therefore who is making their calls and who is not. And I can also find prospects that have been neglected and maybe assign those to somebody and have them get to work on them. So where do we have neglected prospects in this database? Well, we've got 62 of them that have never been called at all. We might drill down and discover that, ah, okay, well, a lot of these are employees of, of our company. Global Corp is sort of the fictional company at the center of this. So we might want to remove those. Okay, let's go back to the original and look at the companies. And let's take Global Corp out. If we go ahead and hide that, that's the same, by the way, as going into the drop-down here and just turning off Global. There's various ways we might have found, by the way, to hide those, because Global Corp is us, is the company that owns this database. I could also be using the contact type to eliminate uh, anybody who's an employee from consideration here. That also would go here, so let's turn off employees. That also would have the effect of removing Global Corp from our consideration here. As well as, well, maybe we're, we haven't made any calls to got suspects, prospects, past clients. OK, I'm not all that interested in the fact that we haven't called past clients in a certain amount of time. Or, or I might be, but that's, uh, in, this, in this case, maybe I'm not. So now what I want to know is, who are these suspects and prospects that nobody has made a call to? And not only that, who are these suspects and prospects that haven't been called since 2006? Well, I can go after all of those. Why we've got a customer that's never been called, that's probably a data cleanup issue. Maybe my real interest here as a sales manager is I want to identify these 32 that have never been called, these 50 that have been called, but the last time they were called was in 2006. And again, I can drill down on them, maybe go through. And uh, what I would likely do is I would make a goldmine group out of these and, and say, call these and assign that group to my top sales rep. Let's go to Nancy here, say OK. And now I've created an unduplicated list of records in my database that are live prospects that should have some pending activity with them, but apparently don't, or at least or some completed activity. And I can you know, call up Nancy and say, Nancy, there is a group under your name. Here, let me just show you what it looks like here. Uh, oh, there's, there's a group under Nancy's name here. Uh, Nancy, that she can activate, and she could actually, and I think we called it call these, there were 50 members, there we go, she could actually activate these and just start boom, 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 working her way through this list. Uh, as a sales manager then, I've just rescued a lot of probably expensively acquired leads and have assigned them to somebody to actually do something about. And because they're in a goldmine group, it would be easier, easy for the sales rep to sort of work her way very quickly through those and then report back to me and let me know what happened with them. Or again, I can create a mastermind report that uses the call these group so that a month from now I can see how many of those actually did get called. That will give me that ability to understand over time what has happened with this group if I just do a mastermind completed call report that uses call these as a group. Why don't I just finish with that? So, we, so how would I do that? I would just say show me the history of calls.